property belonging to African Global Operations, now that's Busasa, will be auctioned this week. The three-day auction includes passenger and commercial vehicles, catering, garden, and office equipment. The embattled company was put into liquidation after banks announced that they would be closing all its accounts due to corruption allegations. Former Busasa COO. Angelo Agrizi told the state capture inquiry they pocketed billions from government contracts using bribes. Well, let's go there now to the venue of what's promising to be this huge auction and we're joined by Govan Whittles who's bringing us all the details. Govan, a very good morning to you. I guess the stage is now set for this auction of uh, former Busasa equipment, all kinds of equipment including vehicles. Indeed, but Dan, it's being dubbed the auction of the decade just because of the scale and, of course, the significance of the items that are, are going on auction tomorrow. And uh, we're outside the African Global Operations, the Bosasa Smart Campus, the headquarters. Um, and today is the viewing day, the last chance that members of the public can walk into the campus um, to see what's on display and what will be auctioned off tomorrow. And let's do that right now, Brad Dan. Inside, uh, the auctioneers from Park Village Auctions um, are standing by. They've received a lot of interest um, in the stuff that's going to be going on auction tomorrow. But, of course, this is a joint auction with uh, Bidder's Choice. And uh, so far, it looks like the vehicles and some of the, um, uh, the high-end office furniture will be going on display for the first time tomorrow. And thereafter, we should see some of the um, buildings, particularly related to the Lindella Re Repatriation Center, um, going on auction. And, of course, there's also a copper smelter, which will be sold. And uh, this is the African African Global Operations Headquarters, Brad Dan. It's a, a headquarters that was closely guarded by Gavin Watson um, and his family. Um, and it's also one where alleged political deals were struck and uh, tenders were negotiated. And with me now, Brad Dan, I have the spokesperson for um, the auctioneers, Park Village auctioneers, Mr. Clive Lazarus. Mr. Lazarus, thank you so much for your time. So it looks like it's a big campus. There's a lot to get through. But, of course, um, this auction and the viewing is taking place, despite some threats from the family that it wouldn't take place. But uh, here we are, and it is going ahead. How did you manage that despite the resistance? Uh, morning to you and your listeners. Uh, this morning, uh, this has been going on for approximately two weeks that we've been planning for the auction. There was a family state in the auction wouldn't take place. The liquidators, Mr. Clutie Murray, Mr. Ralph Lutchman and Mrs. Tania Oosthuizen uh, won the court case and the auction is taking place. Uh, we've had two days of viewing yesterday and the day of viewing for today. Uh, the motor vehicles and some containers are being auctioned tomorrow. The property is being auctioned on Thursday as well as the executive office furniture followed by the next day which is going to be the uh, equipment and uh We'd like to show you around. It's really beautiful equipment and uh, motor vehicles. Please. Of course, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at uh, everything that they have here. But um, just tell us about what we're seeing currently, these buildings around us, particularly the one behind you. Is that also going on auction? And, and what exactly is it? Uh, correct. This, the campus is going on auction. The auction of the campus and Basaza headquarters will be going on auction on Thursday at 11 a.m. Then there's the copper plant, which is across the road, and the building, and then there is a additional property um, which is also going on auction and that is the uh, Lindella Recreation Centre which is a block away. Okay so um, how does the auction of the L Lindella Centre work because uh, of course it had been used by the Department of Home Affairs through a leasing agreement uh, with Bosasa so are you auctioning the building itself or, or the contract? The building itself and the contents, there's no contracts being auctioned. We do have a catalogued auction, which we'll gladly give you, and it's your view today and your view yesterday, and you walk from lot to lot and you look at it, and then we'll take you down to a seated auction venue in Alapa when the bidders will be able to bid for the respective lots that they're interested in buying. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Clive Lazarus. He's the spokesperson for Park Village Auctions, uh, Brad Dan. And... Um, we, we see behind us, Bradan, some of the gardens and uh, some of the uh, areas that were spoken about by uh, former Bosasa COO Angelo Agrizzi. And uh, these are also the gardens where uh, he alleged that Gavin Watson 
had kept uh, crosses with the names of at least uh, one of the, the former uh, head of the asset forfeiture unit, Willy Hofmeyer, and uh, used to pray uh, for them every morning. So there's a lot of significance in these buildings. Of course, uh, the auctioneers will be taking us around to show us uh, the cars as well as some of the uh, fleet uh, of Basasa and the private cars. Among them speculated to be uh, Gavin Watson's BMW X5 as well as the Porsche Cayenne, some high-end uh, vehicles, but uh, most of them vehicles that were used by Bosasa during uh, its work and uh, its contracts, of course, that it had from the Department of Correctional Services that were worth $12 billion. Braden will be here throughout the day and we'll have a close look at exactly what will be on auction tomorrow. But it's... Uh, pretty clear that there's a lot of interest in this auction. Okay, the hammer going down there on those uh, properties and other goods starting tomorrow. Thank you very much, uh, Governor Whittles.